Hi everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We're so happy you're here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from Jeffrey M. Hiat and his best-selling book, Adkar. The book features his world-famous model for change and has the subtitle How to Implement Successful Change in Our Personal Lives and Professional Careers. The Adkar model is a framework for understanding and managing change, equipping leaders to facilitate change, and supporting individuals throughout the change process. ADCAR is an acronym that represents the five milestones or outcomes an individual must achieve in order for change to be successfully realized. Awareness, desire, knowledge, ability, and reinforcement. The model allows leaders and change management teams to navigate successfully through complex and difficult change processes. It is important to note that the goals and outcomes defined by the ADCAR model are sequential and cumulative and hence should be achieved in the given order, starting with awareness. A. Awareness of the need to change. It is human nature to want to understand the reasoning behind a required change. Any change process should therefore begin by creating awareness. You do this by answering the most basic questions. Why are we changing and what are the risks of not changing? Further to do this, you build awareness by spreading information about internal and external drivers for change, as well as creating a clear picture of what's in it for me. It's important to emphasize the need for change and not simply create awareness around the fact that a change is happening. That is an important distinction. D. Desire to support the change. When awareness has been established, the next step is for individual participants to make a personal decision to partake in this change. Desire is the second milestone. It represents the willingness to support and engage in a change. This is a tricky step, since even though change leaders can take a specific action to influence desire, each individual ultimately makes his or her own choice to support or not support the change. Here are some suggestions on how to spike desire. Rally leaders and individuals that are already on board and use them as change sponsors. Equip leaders with the needed information, skills, and behaviors to act as change agents. Assess risks and anticipate and prepare for resistance. Engage and involve employees in the change process. Align incentive programs so they promote and underpin the new ways. And remember that the actions and words of leaders and executives have a tremendous influence on an employee's desire to support a change. K. Knowledge of how to change. Understanding how to change and how to operate in the future state is an essential forerunner for adopting new processes, systems, and so on. Knowledge is the next building block. It represents the information, training, and education necessary to know how to change. Training and data should include information on behaviors and skills, processes, tools and systems, and roles and responsibilities. A. Ability to demonstrate skills and behavior. Ability is the fourth milestone and is all about turning knowledge into action. It means tangibly applying and demonstrating intellectual understanding in a real-world environment. With demonstrated ability, change comes to realization. Change leaders can impact the success of a change effort by intentionally providing time, resources, and coaching to impacted employees. R. Reinforcement to make the change stick. Reinforcement is the final milestone, and it's critical. Many organizations invest significant time, money, and energy in building the necessary awareness, desire, and knowledge, and ability for a change to be successful. Yet they overlook the importance of reinforcement. Once a change is complete, organizations tend to move on to the next task immediately. And since human beings are psychologically wired to return to the most comfortable and familiar state, this is a big challenge for a successful change implementation. Here are some suggestions on how to reinforce and subsequently sustain your change effort. Public celebrations of success. Personal acknowledgement of an individual's progress and achievement. Visible performance measures and individual feedback. In conclusion, using the ADCAR model when approaching change will help you plan effectively for a new change. Equally, if a current change is failing, the model can immediately diagnose where the process is breaking down so you can take the most effective corrective action. And there you have it, our key takeaways from ADCAR by Jeffrey Hyatt.
We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.